Welcome back to my channel. My name is Karin and today we're going to look at the drop. I really like it. It's a little bit surprising and yeah. Before we look at it, make sure you subscribe to my channel. It really helps a lot and it's not so much work for you. And if you like what you see, give me a thumb up and leave a comment below. I'm always happy to hear from you. And yeah, let's go to the move. The move, you start, you can start it from sitting. It will be the angel position. So what you have to think is that the arm that is on top, the leg will be behind, will be on the bar. So I'm kind of, now I'm looking forward, having the hand pretty high up here on the hoop. And I'm going to go with the, with the opposite leg of the hand that is on top through the hoop. So I'm taking this leg, I'm turning my legs a little bit away from my hand into that direction, taking the opposite leg out and turning downwards like this. So I'm turning my, the thigh is on the hoop just above the knee. That's about the position. I'm turning it downwards and this leg, you can straighten forward, hand goes into the front. From here, I'm going to turn towards the hoop so with this leg, I'm kind of manipulating the hoop towards me. I'm placing this elbow from the front, so from the opposite side to the, uh, on the hoop, bending the front leg, and I'm going to go with my chest through the hoop. So this is the position you have to come to. So one more time, turning the leg towards this side. So I'm moving the hoop with the leg to that side placing my elbow and going through the hoop. My hand is still on top right now. I'm having here my elbow prepared, my arm, and I can, if I want to, bend this leg. Next thing that is going to happen is I'm going to go forward down, releasing my top hand, going with the hand around the hoop and hooking it into elbow. I will try to do it slow, but it will happen. This one stays bent. So I'm rolling basically over the hoop, releasing my hand, I will have to do it fast. It won't work otherwise. So going forward, releasing the hand, hooking it in and lifting the legs out. So the leg will go through the hoop and you will come down into a elbow hanging position. To do it slow is hard because you also want to pass. You have to kind of get over the hoop with your whole uh, <laughs> hip and everything. So that moment you want to do fast. Coming with your chest through the hoop, that is the important part, that you come with your chest through the hoop and then you will basically release the hand. The hand, if this is the hand on top, it will go from the back and hook in. The other one stays hooked. One leg goes through the hoop, you open your legs and you come down. I will add slow motion. One more time. This time I will do it a little bit faster, but you know what to look for. So hand on top, the same leg will stay, other leg goes through the hoop. You're going into a position, you're manipulating the leg back, hooking, and here you go. And then you can release one if you want. So it's easier to do it fast, but you have to know where to go. The important thing is, like I said before, that your chest goes through the hoop. You can bend your front leg, keep this elbow holding, and roll around the hoop in a not too big, don't go too far open. You know that you have to roll around. This is already the whole drop. I really like it. I think it's surprising and nice once you have it. Um, yeah, but give it a try. Don't do it alone. Have a safety mat there. Have someone holding you or guiding you through. Make sure you are safe and share your try of it with me on Instagram. My name is Karin Odermatt Coach. And thank you so much for being here every week. I really hope you are learning something. Drop below how long you have been following me. That would be nice to know. And if you're learning something and yeah, I really hope to see you at one point in life somewhere. Thanks and see you next Wednesday for a new tutorial. Bye.